Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna do a comparison between the Unify 6 Long Range and the Unify Nano HD. A lot of you have asked me in the comments to do that. I finally got the Nano HDs in, so we're gonna do the comparison. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put the link in the description below. So first thing, let's go through some of the specs of both the access points. The Unify 6 long range has a 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor and it's now upgraded to support full duplex one gigabit per second TCP IP. It has four stream high efficiency Wi-Fi 6 technology on the 5 GHz band, we have 4x4 multi-user MIMO and OFDMA with a radio rate of 2.4 gigabits per second. On the 2.4 GHz band, we have 4x4 MIMO with a radio rate of 600 megabits per second. Now let's take a look at the Nano HD specs. So the Nano HD has four streams of 802.11ac Wave 2 technology, simultaneous dual band radios. It supports up to 200 plus clients. On the 5 GHz band, we have 4x4 multi-user MIMO with a radio rate of 1.733 gigabits per second. And on the 2 GHz band, we have 2x2 MIMO with a radio rate of 300 megabits per second. Both of the access points are the same price at $229 Canadian MSRP. For the test, I'm going to be using my iPhone, which has a Wi-Fi 6 chipset in it. And we're going to be doing the test from this office then the main floor of the house, and then the basement. The house is about 2,000 square feet, and my internet coming into the house is one gigabit download and one gigabit upload. On the first set of tests, we're gonna leave the access points on auto for everything and do a speed test and iPerf test. Then we'll set the five gigahertz band to 80, and then we'll do the same testing over. At the end, we'll take a look at the differences between the Unify 6 LR and the Unify Nano HD. So the first set of testing will be all be done for the Unify 6 long range. We're going to go ahead and do the speed test. And this is from my office and both access points are in my office and I'll press go. So for the first speed test of the Unify 6 LR, we're getting 404 megabits per second down and 430 up. Let's do an iPerf test. For all the iPerf tests, we're gonna be testing the download and the upload. We're gonna have five streams for 30 seconds, so let's go ahead and test the download. All right, so the average download was 402 megabits per second. Let's test the upload. and the average upload is 390 megabits per second. I'm gonna to move to the main floor in the basement and do these same tests again. I captured footage from my iPhone to show you guys the speed test from the main floor in the basement. So this test is from the U6LR from the main floor. And you can see from the main floor, we're getting 318 megabits per second download and then 264 up. Let's move to the iPerf test. And we're going to start with the download. And you can see our average download is 292 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 244 megabits per second. The next set of tests are from the basement. So let's take a look at the speed test. In our speed test from the basement, we are getting 256 megabits per second download and 71.4 upload. Let's go ahead and do the iPerf. So we'll start with the download iPerf. And the average download for the iPerf was 162 megabits per second. Let's look at the upload. and the average upload was 67 megabits per second. Now we're done the test for the Unify 6 long range when it was set to auto, we're gonna do the same set of tests for the Nano HD and it's set to auto right now. So we'll do our first speed test. 
and we're getting 298 megabits per second down and 290 up. Let's go ahead and do the iPerf test and we'll start with the download. And we're getting an average speed of 300 megabits per second download. Let's do the upload. and we're getting an average upload of 296 megabits per second. So I'm gonna to move to the main floor and then the basement and do these tests again. Okay, so this set of tests is for the Nano HD in the main floor for the speed test. And you can see for the download, we're getting 182 megabits per second and upload, we're getting 216. So let's do the iPerf test. And we're gonna start with the download And the average download we're getting is 184 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload we're getting is 213 megabits per second. Now this test is for in the basement with the Nano HD. Let's go ahead and run the speed test. And you can see we're getting 123 megabits per second down and 136 up. Let's go ahead and run the iPerf test. We're going to start with the download. And the average download we're getting is 107 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload we were getting is 77 megabits per second. Now we've completed the test for both access points when they're set to auto. We're going to set the 5 gigahertz channel to be 80. So on my Unify 6 LR, we'll click on the LR and then we'll go to config wheel. We'll scroll down and go to radios. We're going to change it to HE80. I'm going to leave the channel and power to auto and press Q changes. And we're going to do the same thing for the Nano HD. And we'll go to the config wheel go to radios and then we'll switch it to be VHT80 and set auto channel and auto power. For these tests, I've been disabling the access point that we're not using. So that's why the Nano HD is grayed out right now. When we get back to those tests, we will enable it and we'll disable the U6LR. All right, let's do the speed test with the Unify 6 LR set to HE80. And we're getting 518 megabits per second download and 581 upload. Let's go ahead and do the iPerf test. So we'll start with the download. And the average download was 756 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 597 megabits per second. These next two tests will be for the main floor and the basement and we'll do the speed test and the iPerf test. To save time, I'm gonna time lapse the whole video just so we could get to the results quicker. Now we're finished with the Unify 6 LR test. Let's move on to the Nano HD with it set to VHT80. So we're gonna start with the speed test. And you can see that the download speed is 514 megabits per second and the upload is 586. Let's do the iPerf test. So we're gonna start with our download. And our average download was 525 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 498 megabits per second. Now that we've completed all the tests, let's take a look at the end result. With the access points set on auto, let's look at the speed test. Here we can see the U6LR did better in the office in the main floor, 
In the basement, we could see the U6LR did better on the download, but it was lacking on the upload. If we take a look at our iPerf test, we could see that the Unify 6LR did better in the office and in the main floor. It also did better in the basement. Now when we set the access points to channel width 80 on the 5 gigahertz band, we could see in the office that the Unify 6LR and the Nano HD are pretty much tied for the speed test. And then for the main floor in the basement, the Unify 6LR does better. And for the iPerf test with the access points set to channel width of 80, the Unify 6LR does better across the board. For me, I like both of these access points, but since they're the same price at $229 MSRP Canadian, I would probably end up buying the Unify 6LR wherever I could. If you guys have any comments about this video, please leave it below. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.